What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough, and, uh, I'm a little thirsty, so... Cheers, um, oh yeah, and look at this, the message. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. Shout out to the crazy lady for this. Mm-hmm. I sometimes forget to <laughs> hydrate while doing this whole thing right here, so... Let's see. In our last episode, we... Kind of went on a short visit on Route 212. May or may not have chased a Team Galactic Grunt out there somewhere. Oh yeah, and then we remember that Barry exists, so yeah, that's something. Anywho, in this episode right here, we're going to be going straight to Route 210 because there are some Psyducks blocking the way. And, uh, well, let's see. What else do we need to do? Yeah, in our last episode too, my girlfriend Cynthia gave us the medicine to... Fix that thing up and all that crud. So, yes, now that we know that we have fly right here, let's go ahead and use fly. All right, so where do we go? Route 210, there is a flag right there to indicate that we are going there. So, let's go. Oh, yeah, we can't. <laughs> Why am I clicking there? Okay, so we're going to have to go to Salacion Town in order to do this whole thing right here because, well, that's where they're at. But before we do any of that stuff, we need to... Why am I moving my microphone? It's because I can. Um, we need to heal our Pokemon because we did battle quite a few. Uh, we even battled in private close to Salacion Town before we realized that, yeah, we do have the fly technique. Yeah, I have been out for quite some time. Anywho, guys. So, in the last episode, I, 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 I failed to tell you guys about what kind of equipment do I use in order to record this whole thing. Um, and uh, before I even get into that, see if I remember that. Um, <laughs> so... This is what this is what uh, surprises me or astounds me just a little bit, and that is that the last official recording of this whole walkthrough before I came back was back in the uh, in March, March third to be exact. I then uploaded episode twenty, maybe two months later. I'm I'm here like I'm I'm surprised. I am very surprised that it's been that it's been that long. So. <laughs> Let's go ahead and be consistent now. Let's uh, let's make some uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and make some some videos right here. So now, in remembering what we're doing right here, um, equipment, equipment. Gee, was cramming. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is getting this is getting annoying. So what I'm gonna do. The bike here is just, uh, it's, it's, it's annoying too. Okay, so now we got this, and now we can go. There we go. We've already defeated everybody right here. And, well, we need to get to Route 210 right here. And you'll see the Psyduck are on the way. You click on one of them, and they're going to be like, The Psyduck are standing firm. They aren't inclined to move at all. Would you like to use the secret machine med med medicine? Wow. And yes, I would. And, well, there it is. Secret medicine. And the Psyduck appeared to be cured of their chronic headaches. Okay, and, well, look at that. They are happy. They are going. That Psyduck doesn't know where he's going. He's like, wait for me! And after that... Mm, 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 mm. Cynthia's here. Oh, good! You used the secret medicine I gave you. Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches. But no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh yes, can I ask uh, you for a big favor? Anything you want, baby. I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know that there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it would be worth your time or a while to go. Yes. And there it is, we get ourselves an old charm. And I believe she's going to give us something else too. My grandma has a sort of bossy air ab uh, about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. Yes, I'm sure you will. Uh, she's the elder of Celestic Town. As for location, look on your town map. You can't miss it. Okay, I'm counting on you. See you down the road. All right. And um, there is something. Uh, there is something that I am uh, missing here. And uh, yeah, we're getting attacked by a Pokemon. There's something that I'm missing. Ah, I know. And I think, hmm, it's not right here. It's not right here, right? Okay, so 
first and foremost, we got to use a repel because, well, let's uh, let's be smart about this. We do have nine super repel, which we will be using later. Um, and there is a Pokemon trainer right here, ready to battle us. So let's go right ahead and take on this ninja. So let's see what's up right here. Okay, so here we go. Ninja boy Fabian wants to battle us, and he is gonna be coming out with his Geodude. Me being a fantastic as always, I'm gonna use Monfernamon, and he's gonna catch them hands. Now, the thing that I was actually remembering was that I don't have uh, Defog. Yeah, and I think we should have gotten it like early on in our adventure. I'm just saying, guys. I'm I'm really just saying. Ha. <sighs> Okay, so, there you go, say goodbye, and, well, everybody's getting some points, and he's going to be coming out with the Geodude yet again, so let's go right ahead and go with Hydra, and, well, we're making the switch, and from there, Hydra is going to be coming out, and look at that, Hydra, looking mean as always, going up against another Geodude, now hopefully this Geodude doesn't have, like, Sturdy or something, it might. Knowing my my luck, yes, it is. So, let's go straight for a waterfall attack. Now, before I forget, um, the items. Uh, as you guys can see, the microphone has changed. Um, throughout the last few walkthroughs, complete walkthroughs, I was using the Fifine, uh, Fifine or Fifine uh, microphone that was attached to the Fifine, you know, audio mixer and all that stuff. biggest issue was I couldn't hear myself properly onto this um, and I, I I didn't like the fact that I had to go like this all the time or you know just to hear myself you know coherently and all that crud um, so we have the blue Yeti which is one of the best microphones out there especially for like uh, for beginners and uh, well let's see before we do anything I need to check up on something because Going forward, the progression, and we kind of need it. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. So your boy kind of messed up just a tad bit. Just a little bit. We're going to have to uh, scoot back just a little bit. So we know where to find Defog. And uh, unfortunately for us, that, ha that requires us to fly away from this particular location. And for us to have to go back to uh, Pastoria City... Because there is a place that we failed to visit, and uh, yeah, that place has the item that we need. Yeah, so my bad, guys. So what you need to do right here is going straight to the Great Marsh. Uh, yeah, you you're gonna have to pay for the uh, the cover charge right here, and uh, we get 30 Safari Balls. And uh, what we're gonna do right here now is we're gonna be playing the game, not really, but. As you guys can see, there's going to be a person with green hair right into this area. And all you need to do is talk to this person. And he's like, I found these are in the Safari game. Each of these contains Defog, but none of my Pokemon can learn that move. You'd be doing me a favor if you take these. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves the TM97, TM97s. And as you guys can see, onto our hidden moves list, it's been added. So, yeah, that's how you get Defog. And, uh, well, we have to go back to... The original location so i'll be right back with you guys all right we're back baby so now we have defog and uh well what we're gonna do is we're gonna be battling everybody here as you can see there are balls guys with ball or you can see the balls of their head balls uh yeah you can see them and uh what we need to do is we're just gonna be swapping out some pokemon you know just for some fun right here and here we have this guy i'm one of the ninja Chiro. Being discovered means I must battle. Yes, he must. Okay, so let's go. Let's do it. Here we go. Ninja Boy Brandon wants to battle us, and he is going to be coming out with his Zubat. Alrighty. Let's see what Zubat can do. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see. There we are, taking on a Zubat with an inner focus that won't, it will not flinch. So let's go right ahead and hit it with an aerial ace attack. Now, Last few episodes, yes, I've been thinking of what Pokemon I should be switching here and there. Trying to get an idea of what, what exactly was I trying to do in this. I mean, it's what happens when you take a layoff. You just don't remember. And, uh, well... Huh. 
It's looking like to me that, yeah, we, we, we are going to have one flying type Pokemon. I just need to know which one. I'm trying to figure it out, guys. I really am. <laughs> Anywho, back to the equipment stuff before I completely get off topic. Now, the, the camera that's recording my facial, my sweet, beautiful looking face, not really, is a Canon G, G7X. It's a very small camera, but it is high quality as well as expensive. And it is connected to my field, uh, my field world. Uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, camera screen. I can't remember what it was called. And um, let's see if I have the if I have the name for it. Damn. Okay, so it is. You guys probably already seen on my Instagram how it looks like. But yes, it's connected to both. That way, I can look at the camera right here and see what's going on right here. The green screen happens to be. Let's see. Well, the green screen and the capture card that I'm using are both from the uh, the same company called Elgato. Elgato, you know, makes some very good products when it comes to you know um, streaming and all that stuff. Elgato, I got the Elgato HD 60 uh, 60s Plus, which is a very good uh, capture card for any kind of gaming si system, including PS5 and all that stuff. And uh, well, let's see, what else do I have? Ah, yeah, the Elgato green screen. They they make those two guys, and trust me, I would go with that green screen than just a you know a tablecloth green screen. It trust me on this guys, it is worth the money. It is worth uh, I think it was like 150 bucks, but it is worth the money because um, any kind of cloth or green yeah cloth green screens guys. You're gonna have to just iron them every single time, keep them nice and straight. Um, the lighting and all that stuff. It just, I would go with the Elgato uh, green screen just because it's kind of like those screens that you would see at school, the white screens where they pull down to watch uh, videos. I don't think they do that anymore. But back when I went to school, that's what they had. It never folds. Like it never. There's never folds or creases or anything like that. You just bring it out and it's nice and straight. And you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Now the lighting, it took me a minute, guys, to actually figure out what kind of lighting or how the lighting works for for green screen. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, well, if back in the day, let's see. Oh, here we are, defog. Okay, so before we get into it, here we have defog or a foggy situation. If you guys continue going through here in the fog, which is a very is virtually impossible. During the battle, it's going to get crazy. Your accuracy is going to go down completely. So what you guys need to do is go straight for the defog. And bam. Yes. Everybody, we can see again. Defog is one of the most useless HMs ever. I'm just saying this right now. So talk to this guy. If I could use the hidden move defog, I'd clear up the weather uh, in two flaps of Staravia's wings. How does defog work? You ask. Bird Pokemon flap their wings to blow the fog away. Yeah, you could just use any kind of Pokemon that has wings, and uh, yeah, but never mind. Um, so yes, let's see. The lighting on a green screen, guys. It, it it took me quite a while to figure this one out. For those who have been with me for a very long time, um, I, I think you guys remember my very first few green screen recordings where it wasn't that great. Um, I literally tried using a camera, like a webcam, just to record green screen, and that did not work perfectly because uh, webcams don't get all the colors. Like, they, they're not that high quality. And the kind of the kind of webcam that I had was a seven like a 720p you know 720 by quality and all that stuff and it's you know as we as we go on through the, throughout the times the quality of the camera starts to increase like 4k 60 frames per minute and all that stuff and I just had to invest a little bit when it came to doing all this including the lighting I have a light facing that way that way this way and right behind me and a lot of it has to do with the shadows in the backside if you if you actually get shadows on your green screen and then you know doing the chroma effect onto your uh onto your photo not, not photoshop but your adobe premiere pro it, it's you're gonna catch some uh you're gonna catch some some flack on the back and then it's gonna ruin it so 
That's kind of what I'm doing right here, guys. Um, I think I should list the stuff that I have that I have going right here just to show you guys that, like, well, here's the stuff that I invested in, and I am good to go to making uh, more videos for you guys and all that crud. Um, let's see. But some of you guys were asking, uh, let's see, the, the microphone, which one would you go with? I know that I had the Fafine, but if you guys want to listen to yourself and, and hear the whole thing while the music's going, because I can hear myself talking right here, I would go with the Yeti Blue because it has very good quality. Um, yeah, very good quality, and especially when you're talking and you can hear it onto uh, your onto your uh, programs right here. Yeah, it, it actually works properly right here. And, uh, well, there you go. We have defeated uh, Joel. Joel has been defeated. And, well, let's see. Let's move on to the next spot right here. And, yes, we are going to be using another repel, a super repel. And, well, good thing is now that we don't have to, like, use an HM slave to... To get through this whole area, our Lord and Savior Bidoof will actually cut this through for us, even though we don't have one. And I do believe that. Okay. This is why I hate this uh, this part, the Pokemon follow, because they get in the way, and it's just it, it's oh my god, it, it gets it gets annoying sometimes. And well, there you go. And well, let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Give another one another Pokemon a try here. So let's see. 38. You know what? Let's give Hydra a, a, a whirl right here. Been a while. Let's go ahead and talk to this girl right here. And she's going to be like, as an ace trainer, I have to take battles in the stride. I need to stay cool and calm whether I win or lose. Ah. She's going to lose. So here she is. Ace trainer Alyssa wants to battle. And she will be coming out with a pony. So I had no idea that was going to come out. So let's go right ahead. Hydra looking pretty awesome right there and well there you go intimidate working working like a beast and well let's go straight for a waterfall attack and there we go bam ponyta defeated so let's see i think is there anything else that i need to talk about with uh equipment i think i know so i've been bragging about this for like last year last two years I don't know how much right now but um, the type of computer that I have um, if you guys remembered <laughs> when I restarted the channel I was using a different kind of desktop and I didn't realize that using a regular desktop does not work for gaming videos especially like this one right here um, I I learned that the hard way when uh, what was it oh look at that my Pokemon are growing levels again holy crud and Mewde Uno kicking some butt, taking some names. Look at that. Okay. So, yes, um, there we go. Let's see. I learned that the hard way. And right on the spot, I had to spend a nice penny for the computer that I have right now. It's actually a very good computer. Um, typical one that you would actually find on a Walmart. I'm not recommending you guys to go get it right now or anything like that. It's just. I go with what, you know, I can spend and I go with, like, you know, an investment and stuff. And right here I have the Risen, what was it called? 5000 series, the 5. I don't know if it's outdated or anything like that, but it actually works properly for this this whole the, the, the whole thing that I'm doing right here. Everything, wor everything works smoothly. If you guys remember my Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough, it went, it went smooth. And then... Thanks to a buddy of mine, an Irish buddy of mine, uh, I use a T-Force memory cards. Not the memory cards, but... Um, can't remember the name of it, but yeah, the T-Force uh, thingies that, you know... I, I'll, I'll do better next time, but just to make, to make sure that this game right here... Well, to make sure that the speed of the game goes a little bit quicker and smoother. I can't remember what it... What was it called? I should probably text that dude. Be like, hey man, so what did you recommend me and all that? He'll probably be like, it's this, it's that. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> and look at that! We're growing levels again! Starblade, level 37. And, well, Raichu coming out with a Thunderbolt. And, wow, I thought it was going to go for Hydro. So here comes a Bite Attack. And it's, it is now a two-on-one affair. So we're going to go with a Crunch and a Bite. 
basically the same thing. What is the difference between crunch and bite? Just the size of the fangs? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Toxic Batman grows to level 35, and it's looking like it's going to evolve. Hopefully. I don't know. We will see. We'll find out. And, well, nothing. Okay, so let's continue on right here. And before we get... Be, be, before we get attacked by that chick, let's go ahead and get Muti Uno a few reps just to, just to you know, get, get some experience points and all that stuff. Okay. I'm also thinking that maybe, maybe there there is a chance that I have to change up some Pokemon right here to something that I know because I did watch a few videos of this walkthrough and all that stuff and it's like, yeah... That I'm, I'm starting to get the plan here. I'm, I'm starting to understand where I was going with all this. So we'll see. We shall see. So here we go, Mute Uno. I remember there was a point in time where Mew was considered the most powerful Pokemon out there. Yeah. And well, look at that. Okay, so our speed has harshly fallen. So let's go with a Psychic Attack. And well, here comes a Confusion. Not so effective. And, well, confusion attack yet again. And bam, that's how you do it, Motham. Not so happy right now. And, well, there we go. Some points right there. And Luxio is going to be coming out right here. So, let's go right ahead and go with Monfernamon for the win. Yeah. So, let's go, Monfernamon. How's it going? What's it, what's it like? And here comes Luxio. Monfernomon. And of course, we're going to get intimidated because, well, that's the only thing that this game has. I, I don't even know. So here we go. Flamethrower attack for the win. And just like that, Luxio, been defeated. Has been defeated. Oh my god. And Muta Uno grows to level 30, and Monfernomon is one level away from level 40. And here comes an ancient power that Muta Uno is learning. So let's see, Reflect Type, making the same tar target. You know what? Screw it. Let's go with uh, Reflect Type. I am thinking that I am not going to be using Muta Uno very long. So let's go right ahead with that. And here comes an Onyx. Let's go right ahead and switch it out to our good old buddy Hydra. All right, switch it out. How's it going? And here comes Hydra. Oh yeah, look at this Pokemon right here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so Hydra, we're intimidating him too. Yeah, we're intimidating him. And well, let's go straight for a waterfall attack. And just like that, Onyx defeated. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Ernest. Ernest didn't go anywhere, especially being an ace trainer and all that crud. And, well, there we go. And let's see. Before we do anything, I got to do a little something right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back here, guys. And, well, let's continue on. We do need a bike for this one, but I don't think it's going to lead us to anywhere any too big right here. So let's see. We're crossing this one. And, yes, it's going to lead us to a, a ninja right here. So let's go right ahead and take on this ninja right here and ninja boy davy wants to battle us and uh, wants to defeat us with dust talks and all that crud so let's go right ahead and go with mute uno mute uno you know mute uno is him and well it doesn't have a gender but yeah you know what i mean so here we go psychic attack and bam dust talks for the win or not really i mean mute uno wow i get so caught up in the moment it's funny so there we go, get some more experience points. This ninja boy needed to carry some more. Holy buckets. Okay, so there's that. And I don't think we need to do that. So let's see, right here. Oh God, let's see. No. Let's see. Hmm. Ah. There we go, we scaled it down. There we go. Apparently I was on fast mode the whole entire time. And, well, the great thing about this game is that we don't need HM Slaves no more. So, we can just finish everything. And look at that. We found ourselves TM30 Shadow Ball. This could be this could be a powerful move for a 
particular Pokemon that we can use. And seriously, Gold Golbat, get the heck out of the way. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going right here. And... Reflect the... Oh yeah, we're not going to use any more repels right here. And we're not doing that. And we're going to get attacked by a Karate Guy. He's like, this buff physique isn't just for show. We shall see about that, okay? We shall see. Alrighty. So, here we go. And I'm trying to get a little clearer right here. Okay. So, here we are taking on... Uh, I forgot his name. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot his name. It doesn't matter because he's going to be psychic out. Here we go. Psychic for the win. And, yeah, that championship belt is false. Mute it, Uno. It's a cheat code. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Okay, Black Belt Adam. He's bowing to us. He's like, ah! What buffs for seek? Seriously. Okay, so I think I think we need to get off the bike because yeah, we 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 really don't need the bike anymore. Okay, so hopefully we are getting closer to the to the end. And oh man, seriously! I remember why I didn't like this route. Too many hitting people and too many trainers. But again, we're probably gonna need all the help we can get. Yeah, it's one of those things right there. Oh my god. Okay, so here we are taking on Krogonk. And, uh, well, Mute Uno looking uh, pretty happy. Here comes Anticipation. And we're going to go with a Psychic Attack right here because, yes, we are strong. We are mighty. And that Krogonk just, yeah, he got, they got slapped badly. Okay, so there we go, and he's coming out with a gold bat. You know what? Let's go. Let's go overkill just a little. Let's go with Electro Star because we haven't used that Pokemon in a while. So let's go right ahead and use that. And I kind of spit out a little. So <laughs> okay, alrighty. So here we go, Gold Bat. How's it going? And we forget that its inner focus is right there. And Electro Star just wants to be petted. So let's go with a Volt Switch. See how this works and astonish. Will make us flinch, I believe. Nope. Here comes the Volt Switch. And just like that, Goldmat has been defeated. And, well, it is the last Pokemon on its team, so we won't be switching. And Electrostar grows to level 35. We're doing good. We're great. We are fantastic, guys. Alrighty. Okay. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab that item. Okay, you know what? This is getting annoying. I think it's happy enough. And let's go right ahead and return to the Pokeball because you're getting annoying, man. Seriously. Okay. Let's grab this. And look at that. We found ourselves a Smoke Ball, which uh, it could be used as a uh, as a, a way to escape, you know, higher power enemies. You know, something that we probably needed over in Pokemon Sword and Shield. You know, that kind of stuff. And let's go straight back to Monferno Mon to kick some butt. And, well, here is... I'll teach you about the charms of bird Pokemon. Oh, crud. Okay, here we go. And, wow, we lost the audio for a little bit. <laughs> okay, so here we are taking on Brianna. And she's got a little emo haircut. And Hoot Hoot. We're, we're right here. Hoot Hoot. How's it going? Hoot Hoot is about to be burned by Flamethrower right here. So here we go. Monferno Mon. Flamethrower. Yeah, crispy. Yes. Barbecue chicken. Yes, barbecue chicken. And bam, Buda Uno grows the level 31, and here comes a Noctowl. So, let's see. I would give it to Electro Star, but I kind of want to use Hydra because, well, Hydra's a big ass. A badass. Yes. So, here we go. Hydra, how's it going? Here comes Noctowl. Noctowl doesn't look too happy. And, yes, we are intimidating this Pokemon right here. And you can see Mount Coronet off into the distance, which is pretty cool right there. So, let's go. A Thunderbolt for the win. And it survived. And, well, here comes a... Oh, wow. It is Sky Attack. So, this is a two-turn attack, I believe. Unfortunately, won't be able to get it off. So, there you go. Noctowl has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And just like that, Hydra grows to level 35. And the wonders of bird Pokemon don't astound me. It really doesn't. So there you go. And let's go right ahead and move on ahead right here. I think there might be a hidden item right here somewhere. Not really. Okay, so I 
I also don't think it we're at the very end. Oh, probably. Let's check the town map. Don't get my hopes up. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we're close, so... Alright, let's go right ahead and, uh, take this guy on. Not even gonna read his dialect, I'm just gonna go right ahead and... Power. America. So here we go, taking on veteran Brian, coming out with his buisel, and, uh... Your boy right here is gonna go with Monfernomon. Okay. Alright, array awaiting for the instructions. Let's go with catch these hands attack right here. Close combat. Literally caught his hands. All of it. All four of them. Maybe even the tail. It, it is kind of a Muay Thai Pokemon, right? I'm just, just throwing that out there, guys. And here comes a giraffe rig, so let's see. You know what? Let's go with Hydra. I want to use Hydra. I've been kind of feeling Hydra a little bit right now. So, let's go right ahead. Hydra, how's it going? And he's looking mean as always. And this veteran is throwing out this giraffe rig. Now, I believe there's a... Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. There is a an evolution to giraffe rig. Comment down below. That's how long I've been out, guys. Seriously. Holy crud. And, well, there you go. Giraffe has been defeated, and we get more points. And how many Pokemon do you have, bro? Come on. So here we go. Machoke. Looking buff as always. And we're going to go straight for a waterfall attack right here. And just like that. Waterfall for the win. And no more... No more Macho Ken. Starblade glow. Gl can't even say it. <laughs> Starblade grows to level 38, and this guy is just, you know, he's cool. He's cool with me beating him and whatever. Okay, so let's see. We got some plants right here. Let's go ahead and get two Chesto Berries. I believe those wake you up, probably. And let's go right here. Two Citrus Berries. You guys already know, I don't replant berries. Uh. Just because I don't feel like it. So here we go. Two agua berries. Agua. And well, let's go right here. Two wiki berries. And there you go. Two wiki berries are, you know, fantastic. Okay, so we're getting the heck out of there. And there is a Pokeball there. Unfortunately, we need Surf, which we don't have, or Waterfall. And here we are at the stretch. And yes, we finally made it to Celestic Town, guys. So anywho. We're going to pause it right here, not here, but right here, because in this episode, this next episode, it's going to get interesting. We're going to meet a few people, shake hands, battle some people and all that stuff. So stay tuned, guys. I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue to uncover the mysteries of life here. I have nothing else to say, guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.